Oh my god! Tell me, just tell me, tell me how you live it, how you get it, how you live it. I love scooters. To me, uh, they're a great way to get around the neighborhood without being trapped in your car, um, enjoying the outdoor. But uh, the max speed of most scooters is 15 miles an hour. Also, you're not getting much of a workout on these things because you're standing up most of the time. So. I wanted something that's a little bit faster than these scooters and that um, I can use to possibly get a workout too since I'm already outdoors. So what I started doing was looking into electric bikes. Um, now the first thing I noticed though is that electric bikes are very expensive. Um, the ones that I saw originally were ranging, was, um, ranging from $1,000 to $2,000 somewhere up in there. I don't have that kind of money to spend on a bike um, that I'm going to use to get around the neighborhood. But I went to eBay and I found a cheap alternative. So what I so what I purchased off eBay was a in sheer 19 inch foldable electric mountain bike. These range from about five to six hundred dollars on eBay. I got this baby for five hundred and eighteen dollars, which is pretty cheap for a electric bike. But um, we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna see if uh, I got a deal or if I got ripped off. All right, so this is everything that came in the box. Um, doesn't look like it'll be too hard to put together, but I guess we'll see. Oh, and it also came with some keys, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but um, let's see how long it takes to put this thing together. So they did send us some tools to go with the bike, but one of the, not everything works. Not all of the tools that they sent work. This is too small on one side and too big on the other side, so it's worthless. Also the instructions that they sent, very hard to use. You can barely read it. It's in black and white with a picture that is faded, so you do have to kind of use your own common sense to put this bike together for the most part. So it looks like there is a cool one cool feature I like so far. It does have a headlight and uh, the headlight also has a horn uh, that you can control from the, uh, from the handle. So the horn controls the light and the horn. Let me hear the horn again. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty dope. Um, one thing you will have to manually um, manually uh, do these front brakes and the instructions again are not very clear so I actually had to look up a bike that had the brakes front brakes installed on um, a manual bike that I have to kind of see how to do it uh, very important though so um, I'm going to kind of show you what I had to do so I had to take this part um, it was something on the front of it. I took it off and down there. I had to take this part here in front of this uh, plastic uh, cover here. Put it in this uh, hole. Stick that through. Okay. And then I have to actually take this wire here and screw it into this part here. We put the bike together. It took us about an hour and a half, two hours to put it together. Uh, first of all, these, again, these instructions the trash. <laughs> so um, you can barely see it. So a lot, of, um, a lot of things we had to figure out on our own. And luckily we had other bikes that we could look at to figure out how to put the front brakes on and things of that nature. But the instructions didn't help at all. All right, um, now we're going to talk about the controls a little bit. It does have a front light that we installed. Um, this is how you turn the light on. 
Um, it also has a horn, which is pretty cool. The electronic components of the bike uh, hold M to turn the bike on if you want to ride electronically. And up here you have three different modes. And this determines how much the bike helps you pedal. Um, so if I click up, I go from uh, help me a little bit to help me a little bit more. And here, um, it's going to help you a lot. Uh, so as you pedal, the bike is going to give you a lot of electrical power. If you hit uh, minus on all of them, then the bike is fully electric at this point. You don't have to pedal. Um, so that's kind of how these work. It looks like we have seven speeds here. Um, uh, if you want to just kind of uh, just pedal. Um, again, this is a fold bike. The bike can fold in half here. So you, uh, if I undo the lever here and I uh, undo that, you can actually fold the bike here. You see this? All right, so uh, we're about to take this thing for a spin. Um, I'm gonna be recording uh, with my phone so you guys can kind of get an idea of how fast I'm going. I'm gonna start out in a mid assist mode just to see what it's like uh, to have the uh, bike um, assist me in pedaling. And then I'm gonna go to full electric mode so you can kind of get an idea of um, how fast it is when it's fully electric. Oh man, this thing is zippy in high mode. All right. Oh yeah, it gives me a, a lot of push in the medium assist mode. All right, you come over here. Oh yeah, you get a lot of, medium assist mode really does give you a lot of kick. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let me switch to high. High mode. Oh. oh man, this thing is zippy in high mode. One pedal and it uh, sends you flying here. Not bad at all. Okay. Not bad at all. Huh? So I went in mid and high mode. Um, so far, so good. Um, it is very fast, believe it or not. Every pedal, it feels like someone's literally pushing you to go faster. Um, so I can see how you can get up to 20 plus miles an hour using pedal assist mode. Um, so far, so good. Pretty stable, uh, not very bumpy. Now what I'm gonna do, try to do is uh, go fully electric where I'm not pedaling, put it in a fully electric mode to see how fast it is. Um, so let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh! Oh yeah! Think it's pretty fast! Oh yeah, no doubt! Pretty fast, guys! Pretty fast! Um, it could use some, some, uh, some shock. I do feel some of the bumps a little bit. This thing sure is fast, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, not the sharpest turns. You have to make gradual turns in this thing. The turns are not very sharp. Get a different perspective on how fast it is. 
Yeah. But I'm not pedaling. I thought you broke the scooter. <laughs> All right guys, uh, so far so good. Um, I just rode it on full, full electric mode without pedaling. It was pretty fast. Um, it felt like I was going about 24, 23 miles an hour. It was very smooth. It didn't feel like it was dragging at all. I slightly went up a hill a bit. It didn't slow down um, a lot. So, so far so good. For $518, I feel like I got a steal. So the Ann Shear 19 inch electric bike foldable. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would actually give it a 9. Um, I didn't like the fact that it came with an instruction manual that you could barely read, but we were able to figure it out anyway. Um, but as far as the ride, it's pretty fun. Um, pretty fast, whether you're going all electric mode or pedal assist mode. Um, and again, I only got this for $518, which is pretty cheap for an electric bike. And I'll leave the description below um, an eBay link in the description below um, so hopefully you can get one around the same price as i got this one for but for the price pretty doggone good um, in my opinion i recommend it so are there any other electric bikes that you want me to review comment below any other electric items you want me to review also comment below also let me know what you thought of this bike comment below thank you all for watching peace